Hey guys, Rusty here at Ugly HP. <clears throat> Today we have a 2013 Dodge Journey. Um, and as you can see right here, I'll try to do this. You see that? That's your uh, brake pedal position sensor or your brake light switch, depending on which park store you go to and which idiot you talk to. So, um, very simple. But it's also going to be very cramped, so I'm going to try to do the best I can to get a good shot. But you have your plug. You unplug. It's just got the typical little squeeze tab right there. This bolt right here is a 7 millimeter. Um, we're going to try to get that off. Bye. Maybe I shouldn't be tightening it. Is that the problem? Yeah, that was probably the issue. Sorry about that. Let me see if I can get you kind of back into position. Like I said, tight area, so forgive me. Now we don't want to drop this bolt <laughs> behind the carpet because obviously with it being a 7mm it's not going to be one of those ones we can just go find. Um, uh, piece of crap. Alright. So now that guy just pops out. <laughs> Sort of. Yep. That was it. All right. So the way this has to be installed is you have a pin. That pin's going to go at the top, and this is going to rotate down. So we're going to have to push on the brake pedal. So let me see how I'm going to do this with the phone. Oops. We're going to push on the brake pedal to get it up in there. Yeah, you probably can't see crap. And then we'll release the brake pedal. And it'll kind of be held in position. Not 100%. Get in there, you. Maybe I didn't have to push on the brake pedal. Scratch that. We did not have to push on the brake pedal. The other one the, with it coming apart was uh, the issue. But we do need to get the pin in at the top before we attempt to put this bolt in. Yeah. With everything spring actuated. <clears throat> I'm not sure what this job even pays. I just saw one bolt in. Looked at it for all I can guess. Dodge probably says, uh, we'll just give them 10 hours on it. This customer is getting, getting lucky. <sighs> all right, so, as you can see, I'm not good at finding the hole with the light on. I do have two kids though, so I mean, that's at least two times I found the hole, but that's, that's besides the point. Okay, found it. And I lost it. Hold on, hold on. Let's see, uh, hopefully the camera's facing the right direction. Uh, yeah. Well, I just had it, and then uh, the car shook. We had this earthquake here in Florida, and the, it fell out the hole again, so try this one more time. 
Oof. You ever do something and it just it's so easy but yet at the same time it's so hard. This is one of those. And trying to film it at the same time for you lucky viewers. I mean, I doubt most of you guys have stuck around this long. Five minutes into it, I mean, all you have to do is just unplug and plug the other one back in. But Ooh. Bruce Fraba. All right. So we got it in the hole. And keep my finger on it. Look for my bolt. I told myself to make sure that I do not lose. Oh, it's in the worst spot. Get it started. Okay, so making some strides here. Oh, damn it. There's everything. Uh, so now we just gotta tighten this bolt down. Obviously it popped back out of the hole back there, but it, it's easier to line it up that way, I guess. And plug it in and that is it an easy job that was a pain in the butt checks out on Facebook <laughs> hit the like button subscribe and there you have it uh, brake light switch for a uh, 2013 Dodge journey uh, yep and uh, as always keep wrenching